Hello everyone, my name is Ramat and today I'm going to do an unusual video. I'm going to actually play Pantheon mid and I'm going to do a tutorial there. I'm sorry for the Talia mains that expected a Talia video. I will make a Talia video probably this week as well. And now I'm gonna do a short, too long didn't read part of the video. I'm gonna say exactly the entire video in like some seconds and then we're going for the replay and we're going to see how we're going to apply these tips or these lessons so i'm going to give you the three tips now uh ignore what's happening on the screen i just want to start real quick the first tip is you try to get kills on lane as pantheon abuse the q spam try to q uh, and crit on low HP targets and use empower W all the time basically go for as many fights as you can in lane or try to set up for your jungler ganks with your W uh, expect ganks from the enemy champion because you're a melee champion but use your Q mostly to either stack on Quarrow stacks or use electrocute that's the first tip the second tip is to roam with or without ult get cooldown reduction boots or mobis I found that works for me basically just ult bot whenever you feel that you can get a kill or just uh, follow up on your jungler and then you can also try to roam on other lanes by going uh, with mobis or a cooldown reduction boost because uh, you have some extra movement speed from the mobis or the cooldown reduction from the boots so try to roam as much as you can that's the second tip obviously this is an obvious one but uh, you should abuse as much as you can the roaming because you have your W, you have your Q on uh, low HP targets, it's an extremely useful champion to actually uh, get ganks done with. And also the third tip is for the mid to late game. Uh, if you're not fed enough to assassinate someone, well, try to use your E on top of your carries, your empowered E perhaps, or try to engage with flash W on someone and then use your E. Most of the times you'll be able to one shot someone in mid to late game because you're going to get fed if you are decent with Pantheon, and so you will try to assassinate someone, but if you cannot assassinate someone, go for the E on... Uh, Go for the defensive playstyle for your ADC or top laner or mid laner depending on what role you play. These are the three tips and now we're going to watch over this video replay in Diamond 1 and see how I actually did it. Actually it's Diamond 2 in series because I fell and then I climbed with Pantheon mid because I feel it's busted. So the main reason that you have the main point of this video is to convince you that Pantheon is very strong right now and can be abused to gain elo. So I think this will be a useful video from now on for everyone who wants to try him and so uh, we're going to uh, watch this little replay now uh, you can stop the video right now if you feel that you got my tips but also I recommend to see how I actually prove these tips are good and how I actually try to carry or to get things done so I'm Pantheon mid now this game I'm against Malzahar I found Warwick here for some reason and I started fighting him but because we don't have that movement speed uh, we're going to actually uh, stay back and lose some HP. Now I play with Corrupting Potion and Electrocute. I play with Electrocute on mid because I want to proc it when I'm fighting enemy champions. Conqueror does not always get proc because you need to do some auto attacks and it's very, it's a very long process of stacking it up. Uh, and you're going to see here that I'm going to have a rough lane because of that one uh, early trade and Warwick doesn't really because, well, he can smite it if he wants but he doesn't even need it well i thought i could get the kill there doesn't matter now max q then continue with w or e based on preference i usually get w because e i feel is just a shield tool just use it for cooldown and these are not important moments so i'm gonna go fast over them i'm just farming try to get those q's try not to get too poked now here you always need to ping your jungler no matter against what champion you play because if you use W as you can see here you can actually remove uh, you can remove flashes very easily and this time I removed his flash and next time I will kill him it's going to take a while but you're going to see that next time I'm fighting this Malzahar in 2-3 levels or so I'm going to kill him because I abused the fact that he does have not have flash and yeah first time he escaped but now he's just a free target and if I, I freeze Zack can gank him. With Pantheon mid, you can set up ganks so easily just by pressing W, so remember that. Now, the first part of the tip is fight the enemy on mid lane. If you cannot kill him, try to farm as good as you can till you are level 6 or till you can do a roam or till you can gank the enemy jungler. That's possible too. That's what I did here. I actually checked for Warwick in this zone. So, because Warwick is not here, means his bottom side and we get that. I'm going to go fast, so uh, if you... 
don't really have time to understand me, uh, you either put me on uh, slower versions of me in the YouTube section down below where you can adjust the speed, or uh, I don't know, uh, re rewatch these sections if you feel like it's necessary. Now, following the three tips, we start to try to kill uh, uh, the enemy mid laner, but he's good because he has words and he plays defensively, so we're not going to get a kill on that. But it's not a problem because we can uh, scale, we can go bot at level 6, we can abuse as much as we can, and we can fight him. Here I actually pressed W wrong, but he's playing extremely defensive and that's that's uh, a lot of space for me to actually farm, which is great because he's constantly feared, fearing that Zac. And now my Zac going to, is going to gank bot lane and we're going to win that. And then we're going to follow with more ganks on bot. Whenever your jungler ganks bot, remember there is a chance that they do not have flash after that, as you can see in this context. First time I'm level 6 I will be able to actually go there and get kills, but I will not do that. I also got a kill on Warwick. I will not uh, roam instantly because I will not have mana. And uh, I think Mordekaiser will teleport first on the roam, so that's the second tip. And we're gonna get there soon. They are going to see now how I recall or farm, it's things that aren't that relevant, just try to keep on farm. Malzahar used teleport there and now I'm level 6. This is a teleport from Mordekaiser. Malzahar used teleport mid, so he's coming slightly bot. This is the second tip. Roam often and roam a lot. Here I have ult and I can go here, but you will see soon that when Mordekaiser returns to lane, I go to gank his lane too. Because he comes here and he'll have no flash probably. And so uh, they killed our ADC, the, our fed ADC, and we cannot do much here really. Uh, in this fight if I do not jump quickly and also Zack is dead we're losing towards we're, we're looking towards a losing fight because Mordekaiser is very strong Warwick is not dead yet and Malzahar is coming towards us so whenever you Q you can see here try to get the empowered Q crit very important this is part of first tip part of the second tip because of the roaming and the empowered Q crit and the killing factor and then try to actually use your E properly. As you can see here, I wait and try to fight that Mordekaiser and when I notice that he actually goes for uh, Leona, I kind of feel that I have a chance of actually winning this because now I can just flash, hit Q and use E and move away. I know Malzahar has no flash still because he just uh, used it on that gank if you timed it uh, it's still not up okay because it's five minutes so yeah five minutes and now what do I do I recall and then I go mid we go mid now and I jump on him instantly okay so we remove the shield and then we just farm we just farm here we just farm our ADC disconnected so what's following next I can just jump on him at this point because he has no shield and no ult. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, it appears here that he has flash, but I don't think he has. I think it's a spectator bug. Uh, but I'm not really sure about it. But anyway, I would not die here because I have my E. Another important factor here is the E. Normally, with any champion, you would have died here. As you can see here, go for the empowered Q. Exactly, get the kill. Turn around use the E, negate the damage. So that's partially, this is a fourth tip, try to use your E to actually prevent tower shots whenever diving and so, I always stay to that side. And now, I'm at this point and you can predict what's going to happen. This is part of the second tip, I'm going to roam top lane because uh, I'm 3-0 and their Mordekaiser is very strong, our Vlad is 0-0 so we can get a kill on the Mordekaiser. Our Vlad will die a bit to him because he's a master tier player and this is a Zymo player, so he'll get outplayed after this gang, not in this scenario. Here we get the kill, it's simple, but most people would not recall here to actually gang bot. It's a very important thing to gang top, sorry. Most people would recall here instead of going to gang. And that's a mistake because you have here your E, you have everything, Mordekaiser still has no ult as far as I'm concerned as you can see here. Because when we went bot, Malzahar ult was used so we have free, uh, free fighting here and also Mordekaiser ult was used. And these ultimates are not like 2 second cooldown, they are 
quite long in early game. And then I used my uh, vision ward there to check that he's not backing off. And easy kill right here. As you can see, Vladimir just went and did his thing. Pull, free kill for that. Now, this is a very simple way. You can see the pings on mid lane. This is a very simple way of actually getting a, a kill on that. There were two sets of pings here, one from Mordekaiser pinging Mazahar that he did not say miss and the other one from me because he was actually missing. Now, this is the second tip and the third tip is scaling to late game. And now I think that Mazahar might go bot and he's not really doing much here just by just farming. They've seen him so it's nothing that relevant. So we're gonna speed it up again. Okay, more farming. Now here I see where we're coming. Now there is not much I can do because I missed my Q and I misplayed this heavily because I could get some kills on that Warwick here. That is not a problem, we're going to speed it up again. Okay. As you can see here, alt on mid, easy easy kill, even though Malzahar flashed I did not need to flash, he had his ult but he couldn't do much with it. It's very easy to set up ganks, you can see another kill there with Dawn, it's easy and beautiful to get kills with Pantheon, I'm 4-1, I will die a bit more this game but it's already over, we've already won this game, we're just rotating towards objectives, our ADC is extremely fat there, ADC just is tilted, their mid laner is very tilted as well as you can see in kill participation and farm. And now we're looking up towards processing that objective. I've just put there instantly that uh, that herald. And we're jumping here, but I did a fail. And you should be careful towards that thing. I want to talk a little about it. Call it a fifth tip. Uh, okay, so what's happening here? Free kill on this uh, Xaya, okay? She has no time to actually use ult. As you can see here, I don't know why she didn't use it, actually she should have used it here. She had it. But the mistake is that I used my E in the reverse order. If I used it in this way, I would have survived this without the problem. And we would have lived probably with getting this tower easily, but now we had the longer, you know, stay in the matter. Every time you back off under a tower, every time you dive, try to position your E as such that you are towards the enemy tower. So that's a very important thing that you must remember as well. Besides spamming small Qs, besides using Empower W or Leon to get the stacks on the Qs, or besides using Empower D whenever necessary. Uh, okay, so I'm not gonna bother you much with all the rest of the game details, but this is how I proved the first two points. Uh, I actually fought a bit more the Kaiser there and there and I got outplayed, but it's irrelevant because we actually won the next fights and we actually did pretty fine. There were more fights around, I usually go for Yumus or Tractar and try to stack those surprise uh, kills. I usually go for Tractar when I want to have the map cleared, as you can see here. I have the vision word here and I also have the Tractar passive. I actually have no problem in getting the kill on this Malzahar. The game goes faster and faster and we are already won because, well, Malzahar actually left as you can see here. There were numerous fights in this game but there are not that important for you as to as the tips, the main tips are. Games are various so examples, while examples are good, uh, the tips are the most important. So focus on those three key things, we're gonna remember them again. The first one, fight on the... Uh, lane as much as you can especially early on because you're strong try to get some kills with w and your jungler focus on that focus on your jungler following you your w and try to get empowered cues on the enemy champion stack conqueror if you play with conqueror just proc electrocute if you play with electrocute every time and use your e whenever you feel the enemy champion burst is coming for example in this case is malzahar alt or malzahar q and even well e but so focus on that also, in this matchup, I could queue the small void links, another important thing. Also, that's the first thing, get kills with Q, focus on those 10%, uh, 50% HP queues that I did on bot lane there, and uh, focus mostly on trying to fight, 
whenever you feel that the enemy jungler is not close to you or even when the enemy jungler is close to you try to gank the enemy jungler if you put a nice word in seen him do your cues on him empowered cues mostly then ease and uh, try to actually surprise them and even if you're if their jungler ganks you on lane here let's say you could actually jump instantly on the jungler and kill him before the enemy laner has time to actually kill you so you can get the kill on both on either the mid laner or the jungler or even on both in some cases the second tip roam roam as much as you can with w and alts uh, roam i count even on junglers on their jungler most junglers you can kill such as evelyn kazik you can kill those people early you can destroy them especially with ignite and the third tip is <coughs> in late game, sorry, try to transition towards the uh, assassins slash uh, word clearers slash flankers slash e bot that defends your carry. So even if your Draktar spots no word, you can uh, try to flank or you can try to position as such to use a flash W on someone or you can try to use your E if you're behind and defend a target from your team or use it to defend from general alts like Ezreal alt and so on you can actually reduce or get no damage by them uh, but your other champions will but if you talk about Ezreal Qs you're gonna block them for uh, your team if you talk about I don't know other spells that get blocked uh, it's not a Yasuo wall but it's quite stronger in some cases quite stronger because Yasuo wall can be missed this is a channel and it's quite obvious how to use it so this is the general guide, I hope you enjoyed it, the trip tips, please abuse them as much as you can right now and further on because until he gets, uh, until Pantheon gets nerfed, he's going to be strong and I think on OPGG is his first and S tier on everything, so yeah, it's not that complicated to play him and as you can see in my games, if you look in my history, you can actually see that I kind of play him right now because I believe He's a Talia on steroids, that's AD and else an assassin, so uh, roaming potential and assassin, it's extremely versatile in everything. You get also the Zed or Katarina and also the roaming power of Talia and Orion Soul or Twisted Fate, so you get even the CC of Twisted Fate, you get more champions combined into one by how strong he is right now. So this is the tutorial right now, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was useful for you and if you want me to make this kind of videos well more or different champions please tell me and leave me a message. I'm going to also make this week probably a Talia tutorial and I really hope you enjoyed this. I really hope you have a nice week, day or night, I'm Drumat and see you next time guys, goodbye.